Well, God bless you. Bishop Peter Christensen here to talk about the Idaho Catholic Appeal. This year, the theme for the appeal is for the glory of God. A perfect theme when we think about it, giving gratitude to God for the things we have and giving testimony to God, to others uh, that share again the great work that we're about in this diocese. I'd ask that we take a moment to listen to uh, many of our brothers and sisters who tell of their story, inspiring stories, which really does touch on this glory to God uh, as they make the kingdom known. Uh, thank you for your attention. I don't know that uh, love at first sight it happens that often. And I don't know if it happened to me. What I did know within a month of meeting her that that's a girl I wanted to marry. Eight years into our marriage though, Jackie was diagnosed with breast cancer. My faith was significantly enhanced by Jackie's acceptance of that truth in her life, that medical truth, that this was something that she was not going to overcome. And uh, even the day that they shared that diagnosis with us, I remember sitting next to her and I'm shaking, I'm, I'm a mess. And she, uh, upon hearing those words of what the diagnosis revealed, she reached down and held my hand and just said, be still and know that I am God. Yeah. And for the next six years, that's how she lived. So profoundly secure in her faith. And as her husband, I felt um, completely incapable of helping her in her faith walk, completely incapable of doing anything medically. Here I am working on medical equipment during the day and at night, uh, tending to uh, my wife who I can't help. The involuntary solitude of my wife's passing, I had a time to reflect on, well, what do I, what do I really do now? And how do I help best? And a long story made very short is uh, I entered Mount Angel Seminary <laughs> as a seminary. <laughs> I, I can't say thank you enough because this walk I'm on, this life in Christ that I've been invited into only happens and only exists because many made that possible for me. So thank you. So I think we give glory to God by speaking for those who cannot speak for themselves, by being the voice for the voiceless. And so every day we go down into the legislature, that's what we give to, our, to God, our voice, to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. You know, I, I don't know if we could do this work because it is, there, it is a real spiritual battle that we're involved in without just surrendering this to Christ every, every day that we go to, are down there. And we've, we've all seen many miracles because of that. There's so many little things. Just, just um, by putting people in our way that day that we needed to be in touch with, they just are so appreciative that you're there, that you um, take the time to be with them. The, the Catholic faith, and I would say that the ability to go to reconciliation was a, a very much a life-changing event. And I ran into Tom and Barbara, and it was our first time actually being out there to, to minister within the prison ministry. And I remember them telling me is that, you know, at the first time that they were out there, they were admit that they were kind of scared being out there. You know, they didn't know what was in store and what was going on. But then uh, we had a one-on-one -on -one talk conversation and we sat down and I shared my story with them. And I remember them telling me that my story was inspirational and that I have something to help others. Don't lose hope because if you keep that faith and keep strong, the Lord will provide. He always does. As you and I know, everything is for the glory of God. Our lives, a gift from God, all good comes from God. 
and how blessed we are to be able to support the great work in this diocese of so many. Let us take a moment to reflect on our need to support this appeal and please be generous in doing so. God bless you. Thank you.